So gravity is actually already baked into Unity's physics system. Um, we just need something in our scene uh, on a game object to tell it to use the gravity that's already there in Unity. And the way we're going to do that is add a component called a rigid body to our game object and that will make it use Unity's um, built-in gravity in the physics system. So we've got a few apples on a tree here. Uh, each of these is a game object. It just has a sprite renderer attached. And what we can do is add a component. If you search for a rigid body, um, if you're working in 3D, you'll use the normal rigid body. If you're working in 2D like we are here, we'll use rigid body 2D. So just simply by adding that rigid body 2D to our game object, it will now make use of Unity's built-in gravity. So if I hit play now, the apple should drop from the tree. You can see it goes quite fast, but we'll change that in a second. And just to show that again, so we'll select the game object here, then the other apple, we'll add the rigid body 2D component. And now if I hit play, both should fall off the tree. There we go. So you can see they were both falling quite fast there, and we want to change that, we want to adjust that so they fall a little bit slower. So we can do that by changing the gravity scale. So this is effectively how much gravity that your um, game object will experience. And what we'll do is we'll just set one to uh, 0.25. And if we set the other one to 0.1, and we'll just see how that changes things. So if we hit play now, you should see they'll fall slower and at different speeds because they're both experiencing the gravity based on this gravity scale. So this lets different Game objects experience gravity on a different scale, and this is just multiplying your um, gravity that you've got set in the physics engine by this value. So you can go higher than one. So in the rigid body component here, we've got some other values that we can change to tweak that as well per game object. So you can change the mass, um, things like the, the drag, which effectively is the, the air resistance in this context. So by tweaking the mass and the gravity scale, if you remember back from your physics lessons at school, the acceleration is the, the force over the mass, so we can tweak these two values to get a different acceleration, a different final speed for the objects, and tweak it to how it's suitable for your game. So that's how to get gravity working on your individual game objects. What we can do is change it on a global level as well. So if you go up to Edit, and then to Project Settings, and if you click on, again, we're in the 2D um, context, so Physics 2D, and you can see this top one here is gravity. This is So this is global. This is the strength of the gravity for all of the game objects that you've got your rigid body attached to. So here we can change both the direction and the magnitude of the gravity. So in our scene here, gravity is set to a, a value on the y-axis. So uh, up and down of minus 9.81. So that's the same as the acceleration on the surface of the Earth, 9.81 meters per second and it's in the negative y direction, so facing straight down. So we can do something here that would have made Isaac Newsom very confused, and if we set the gravity in the y-axis to, uh, let's say three, and exit out of there. Now if we hit play now, you should see the apples fall up. So they are now experiencing gravity in the positive y direction. So it doesn't just have to be in one direction that you can set this to either. If we go back to project settings and to our gravity, We'll put the y value back to, we'll just put it to uh, minus 10 for simplicity. And we can also add gravity in the uh, the x direction, the x axis as well. So let's put this to um, positive 5. So if we exit out of there now, press play, you should see the apples falling diagonally from the tree. So you can tweak the settings if you don't want gravity to be always in the same direction or down. Uh, you can tweak it how it's suitable for your game. So let's just set that back to how it was. So zero on the X and we'll do minus 9.81 in the negative Y direction. And if we hit play again, you see the apples are now falling straight down from the tree. Uh, so that's very basically how you can set gravity up in your game. And let's look at a few extra things while we're here. So the apples, you can see when they fall from the tree, they just hit the grass and pass straight through. There's nothing stopping them at the moment. So what we would need to do to our game objects, to our apples, is add a collider component. Now I've already added one to the, the grass here. So you can see we've got a, a box collider set in the grass. But what we're going to do is select our apple, add a component, and we'll add a, uh, we'll add a circle collider in this instance. So again, 
if you are in 3D, it'll be a different type of collider that you'll need to add, but we're just going to add a, a circle collider 2D. And if we just zoom in, you can see nothing appears to have happened, but we've got this collider component on here now. If we hit edit collider, you should see the green outline of that collider, so we can move that in. We'll just make it the rough shape of the apple. That will do. And if we zoom out again and hit play, you should see one apple should pass through and the other should hit the ground and stop there. So we've got a collider on the apple object and also on the, the grass. And if you hit the outline, you can see that's the, the ground level for the uh, the apple to hit. And we'll just uh, we'll duplicate that on the, the other apple. So if I just minimize that rigid body, we'll add a circle collider, uh, zoom in and edit the collider so it's the same shape. I'll just do it roughly. And then if we hit play now, both apples should now hit the ground. There we are. So that is how to add gravity to your game. And for next steps, there's various things you can look into. Um, I would learn about the different body types. So on the, the rigid body 2D, we've got dynamic, kinematic, and static. Um, these will affect the various um, things you can do with this and, and various things like, will it trigger a collider? And uh, check out the Unity documentation around the, the different types of body type. If you liked that, subscribe for more videos and check out my game Ammo Run, which is available in the App Store and Android Store.